What's up everyone, Kita here. So, it is, I guess you can say, day zero for me going to Japan for Fate Grand Order Fest 2018. So I guess we'll name this trip uh, FGO Fest 2018 four-day Japan trip because um, I'm only going for four days, which is crazy because I usually don't go to Japan for only four days. I usually go for at least two weeks uh, to visit family, friends, and stuff like that. But the main reason why I'm going to Japan uh, f for this weekend is obviously for FGO Fest 2018. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. Uh, I'm actually uploading one more video before I leave to the airport right now. It should end in like 10 minutes, so uh, it should be up pretty soon. Um, but this video won't be up until I come back from Japan. But um, right now, uh, the plan is head to the airport uh, because my flight is at midnight. Uh, it's currently uh, 6 p.m. So go to Japan, uh, head out at midnight. Um, and go to Haneda, pick up my Wi-Fi router so that I can have internet. And then um, from there, I have to kill time until 5 p.m. because my check-in time isn't until 5 p.m. for my hotel in Akiba. Um, I arrive literally 6 a.m. in Japan, so it's like, uh, what am I supposed to do until the check-in? So um, the plan is find a locker that I can leave my uh, I can leave my suitcase in if I can find a big locker if not go to the hotel ask him if I can keep my luggage there until ch until check in and then play around in Akiba like try to play FGO arcade if possible and uh, yeah like that's the plan like try and play FGO arcade as much as possible right now on day one and I, I, I'm expecting huge lines. Like I, a, a friend of mine told me earlier that there are huge lines in the arcades right now for, to play FGO Arcade, and uh, people are waiting in the hot sun and then stuff like that. It's like 90 something degrees right now in Japan, which is ridiculous. <laughs> this is why I hate going to Japan in the summer because of um, how hot it is. But yeah, that's the plan right now. Go to Japan, uh, find a place to leave my luggage somewhere and uh, try to play FGO Arcade as much as possible. If the lines are too big, the, pl the plan B is to go to Odaiba and to check out the Gundam again. Like, I love checking out the Gundam. The Gundam Unicorn, that's my favorite thing to do in Japan. And um, I'm definitely gonna go check it out. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, that's the plan right now. Um, so, I just gotta take a shower, shave. I mean, this, I gotta shave this. This is a week worth of uh, not shaving, but uh, I'm gonna get cleaned up. And then we'll head out to the uh, to the airport. So yeah, Fua. All right. So um, now I'm gonna shave. I'm gonna go from 28 to 20 years old again. So gonna shave real quick. Confirmed. Kita can actually turn back young. <laughs> okay. So I am all cleaned up. I gotta just. Uh, turn off my computer and everything, but um, some things that you should bring to Japan. Mobile battery, if possible, bring two uh, because um, these are going to be super useful. So uh, just in case you bring two, I, I, I would recommend two, but I'm only bringing one right now because my other one broke. Uh, got a little Dumble one, pretty cool, right? Yellow is my favorite color, so I bought a yellow one. Um, I got my, uh, my Japanese wallet. The reason why I have a long wallet like this is because yen does not fit in my uh, my current wallet, this one, it, it just sticks out, like the yen comes out on the top here, so that's why I bought a Japanese wallet. So um, just another heads up, if you're going to Japan, uh, I recommend bringing maybe a, a big wallet which can hold yen, so uh, recommend it. Also bring a wallet that has a little coin purse, or bring a mini coin purse because you're going to get a lot of coins in Japan. Coins are going to be very important, especially if you go to the arcades because uh, 100 yen are going to be only used. It's like quarters basically, so uh, I recommend bringing a little coin purse. Um, I have my phone currently charging right now, um, so phone is ready. Uh, I won't be able to use this on the plane, so I have my Nintendo Switch in my backpack, which I'm going to be playing Octopath Traveler. Uh, I haven't played it yet, so I'm really excited to play that. And then of course we got my, uh, my passports. Dual citizenship, my Japanese and my American passport. Um, other than that, oh yeah, headphones, very important. You're gonna need these. Um, other than that, I think I'm good. My luggage is in the front. Uh, 
my brother is getting ready right now, so he's gonna he's gonna be taking me to Japan. Oh, bring a handkerchief. Always, always bring a handkerchief uh, because um, in Japan, not all toilets have paper towels or air blowers, so you want to bring um, handkerchiefs. Uh, also, uh, during the summer, especially because you know you're gonna sweat a lot, so you want to wipe off that sweat. Um, another one, I think that's about it actually. Oh yeah, maybe chapstick just in case. Yeah, I should bring that just in case. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good to go. All right, um, let's head out to the airport. Okay, so um, I checked in and everything. Now I am just killing time until my boarding time, which is like an hour from now. So yeah, I'm just gonna have dinner and then I'll head onto the plane. So I forgot to record before getting onto the plane, but I'm on the plane and um, I was actually playing Octopath Traveler for like maybe like four hours straight and um, turbulence happened and it lasted for like 30 to 40 minutes and uh, I stopped playing because I started getting, you know, a little woozy because, you know, shaking and everything and uh, playing video games is not, uh, not a thing. I get pretty... Uh, pretty woozy easily when I'm playing like or reading um, books or playing video games while in the car uh, so um, I stopped playing and uh, that's why I'm in the bathroom kind of like uh, I felt like throwing up so but yeah I'm, I'm good it was like a 30-40 minute t turbulence which was crazy so um, but I'm wide awake now I'm gonna go back to my seat and I'm gonna play more Octopass Traveler um, I, I'm, the game is so fun <laughs> but anyways um, it is currently what 6:30 in California in the morning, so uh, I believe we should be in Japan in about maybe in another. I want to I want to say another four hours. So I, I don't remember exactly, but um, yeah, we should be in Japan in like maybe another four five hours, and yeah, uh, we'll. We'll record again once we arrive in Japan because I don't want to record you know, next to uh, all the people over there. I don't want to, you know, talk and you know, make some racket noise. But anyways, yeah, uh, we'll record once again once we arrive in uh, Japan. All right, so I arrived in Haneda. Now, um, I was trying to pick up my Wi-Fi router, but apparently they don't open until 6.30. It's currently 5 right now, but apparently on the third floor, there is another counter that is opened right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my uh, my Wi-Fi wi router up there. So uh, let's go get it so I can use the internet. Okay, so I picked up my uh, my Wi-Fi router. This is gonna be your friend, your best friend for your trip in Japan. Trust me, even if you have unlimited data for around the world, you definitely want to pick one of these up so that you can get. Wi-Fi connection like this is like what 50 bucks every time you come like I, I rented these for like a month 50 bucks still so unlimited Wi-Fi really good definitely pick one of these up when you can but uh, yeah now I can connect to the internet and um, I don't know what to do now it's it's still 5 a.m. like I literally or the plane literally landed an hour early than um, scheduled so um, I have a lot of time to kill because nothing opened around in Japan until like 9, 10 a.m. So um, there's no point of going to Akiba right now. I mean, that's where my hotel is too. So uh, we'll we'll figure things out. Maybe I'll go to Odaiba, check out the Gundam. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, for now, uh, I'm probably just going to go ahead and kill time until like 8 a.m. so that I can head out to Akiba because my check-in isn't is it until 5 p.m. So um, yeah, so I'm just probably going to go to Akiba, kill some time until check-in, try to play FGO Arcade and stuff like that, so, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just kill some time for now, and then we'll head to Akiba in a bit. So, I have nothing to do. I'm just gonna head to Akiba, look for a locker so I can throw this big-ass luggage somewhere. Also, hint, when you're on the escalator, Tokyo, left side, Kansai, right side, I don't know why. Just do it. <laughs> but, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just wait for the train, head to Akiba. Again, look for a locker. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and kill time at like a, a cafe or something until the arcades open. Like I, I want to play FGO arcade like, like right away. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll figure things out. Like again, my check in isn't until 5 p.m. So yeah, it's gonna suck. 
gotta wait very very long time but uh, I, I just want to get a locker because lockers are really hard to get especially the big ones so uh, I want to try and get one so I can throw this thing in but yeah uh, let's head Dakiba okay now we're here at a locker 600 yen for like three days all good let's do this so open locker and then what do I do? So wait, two, three, three, two, three, seven, seven. Uh. Okay, so I'm in Akiba. 6 a.m. Nothing's open. It sucks. Gotta wait until 10 for the arcades to open so I can play FG Arcade. But other than that, we are in Akiba. So um, I'm gonna find a cafe that's open right now and drink a little coffee, put some food in my stomach, and uh, yeah, we'll figure things out. So I totally forgot that I needed to pick up my ticket for FGO Fest, so I went to a family mart, bought my tickets, or got my ticket. Um, so this I can now go officially to uh, FGO Fest tomorrow. And then uh, along the way, I just picked up my favorite item from the convenience store. Energy. Uh, energy jellies. It's like basically an energy drink in jelly form. This stuff is fucking delicious. It's like cocaine, man. But yeah, now I'm just gonna kill time until the arcades open. So, I uh, signed up for FGO Arcade uh, here in Akiba. They're actually pretty strict. Um, they're only allowing one sign up a day, but I don't know how they're gonna keep track with that. So uh, I'm gonna try and sign up again later today. But uh, yeah, they're apparently pretty strict when it comes to uh, signing up for Arcade. I don't know why exactly. But uh, I signed up, I gotta come back around 9.55 so that I can play. If I'm late at least one minute, um, they won't allow you to play. You have to re-sign up again, so late one minute and then you sign up again and wait in line. So, gotta be here on time. I am so screwed. I am so, so fucking screwed. I just lost my wallet. I dropped my wallet. I, I don't know what happened. I don't have it. Everything was in there. My credit cards. My cash. And the FGO ticket. Oh, fuck, I am so screwed. I... Oh my god. I was just playing FGO Arcade not too long ago. Oh my god, I'm fucking screwed. Oh, shit. I am so fucking screwed. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, um... I'm gonna head towards the police station, the Akihabara like, like, police station. Check if someone turned it in. And, uh, hope everything is in there, like... Honestly, everything else, everything can be taken. My credit card, my my cash, I don't care. FGO ticket, please be there. Like I, I, I have my debit card on me, so I can take out cash anytime. But, oh man, please, FGO ticket still be there. That's all I'm asking for right now. So, um, I just went to the police station. It's not there. But I put in a report, and uh, they will contact my hotel to see that... Um, uh, my, if my, my wallet arrived at the station or not because I obviously can't use it uh, or I obviously can't make phone calls because I'm in a foreign country um, but yeah uh, I am in a very bad situation right now like the only good thing is that I didn't put all my cards in my, my Japanese wallet um, my debit card my debit card is with me still so I can take out money um, I can buy a new train pass uh, there was like eight hundred dollars, like eight eighty thousand yen in there. Um, but honestly, the money does not matter to me. I I'll just pretend um, I went to Pachinko or something like that and lost eight hundred. <laughs> but oh, dude, my FGO ticket. I I'm gonna contact. See, I'm gonna talk, contact the ticket distributor about it and see if, what I can do about it. But um. Right now, I'm just screwed. Basically, technically, I have no money, but I can go pick it up. But I'm pretty screwed right now. And not only that, I'm I'm just having really bad luck right now. My backpack broke too. Like this is this is broken. The zipper broke. I gotta fix. I gotta fix this later. Oh man, I'm screwed. Like the reason why I came to Japan is for FGO Fest, and I lost the ticket, and I'm not even sure if I can get it again. Oh shit, I'm so screwed. I'm in Akiba and I, 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 I usually love to walk around this place, but I hate it now. 
This is so bad right now. I don't know what to do. I really, really don't know what to do.